We recently built a 20K roaster with an upgraded drum design, and we needed to install it in our roastery here in Minneapolis for extended testing. Today, our warehouse manager, Alex, will be showing us how this machine got uncrated and installed. Unloading a large machine like this from the truck requires a forklift. A pallet jack is super helpful in bringing in the crates and arranging them to be unpacked. We start by cutting the metal banding off the crates, then unscrewing the front and the rear panels and removing the panels. Next, you can use a sawzall to cut through the smaller nails along the top of the pallet and then slide that off. Alex will also use that sawzall to cut the supporting brackets in front of the roaster. With those brackets removed, the side panels can be pulled down and broken away from the bottom pallet. He cuts away the saran wrap and the foam, which is there to protect the metal finish, and finally reveals the roaster. Next, Alex gets to work on the control panel, which arrives unmounted from the roaster body. To mount it, he removes the front panel to access the holes at the back and then screws it onto the support bar on the machine. Now it's time to lift the roaster off of the pallet. We use a forklift to do this by carefully threading the tines of the lift underneath the drum. We have to be careful here not to come into contact with any of the electrical components in that lower compartment underneath the drum. It's helpful to have two people. When the roaster body is raised, you can pull out the pallet with the jack and then set the roaster down again. We close up the doors and wheel the roaster into position in the roastery where we're gonna finish the install. The process of uncrating the chaff can and cooling tray are fairly similar. Alex opens one side and loosens some of the bottom brackets, holding the feet of the chaff can. Then he goes in with the forklift to lift it off the pallet and pull the crate away. The chaff can feet get screwed on and he positions it in the roastery directly underneath the termination venting port. Placement of the chaff can is the most important because all the other components will build off of it. The cooling tray is the last crate. Alex removes it from the pallet using the same method we've seen before. And then he unwraps it and brings it into the roastery. Next, he connected the first few pieces of the venting around the chaff can and lifted the roaster body to place the metal feet underneath it. The cooling tray is placed and then he'll finish connecting the venting quick connection kit. This gangs together the cooling tray, the cooling tray fan, the roaster exhaust fan, and the chaff collector. The final steps are connecting the green hopper sensor, the green hopper gate, and the hopper itself. Then he screws a light bulb into the lamp. Next, we have Karsten from our technical support team. He's connecting the motors and fans to the electrical outlets, and then swapping out the propane orifices on the burner manifold with natural gas orifices. Once the burners are converted, he'll put a sticker on the roaster plate to indicate that it's set up for natural gas. Here he's using the supplied socket tool to unlock the locking ring at the front of the drum and set the correct distance in the drum gap. This will ensure there's no rubbing against the drum and beans don't fall into the burner tray. He dials in the drum speed by counting the number of rotations on our rear axle. Karsten sets the correct values for gas pressure and finds our low, medium, and high airflow settings using the lighter trick and calibrating with the digital drum pressure gauge. The gas regulator is dialed in for the ideal gas control, and he checks the flames on the burners to make sure that they're the right height and color. 
If the roaster sensors are checked to make sure that all of the automation works before connecting to roast path, Karsten makes sure that the configuration is correct and that the roaster can talk to our data logging software. After that, we're ready to fire it up and season this roaster.